Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Trading with Tim YouTube video, episode 162 of the Road to a Milli. Today, I have an unfortunate loss to recap today. Uh, but we're also going to go over some of yesterday's um, trades as well. But let me first <clears throat> go ahead and show the pretty big L that I took today. It, it was an unfortunate day today, to say the least, down 1140. And I also traded almost 4 million or a little over 4 million shares today. So after the fees i'm down about fifteen hundred and forty dollars so pretty big red day but relatively speaking we're still doing okay and really it all comes down to this trade right here on roma down 1900 i had a nice trade on mimo um but i also gave back a little bit too much on that trade as well so we'll first go ahead and show roma uh, roma out of the bell and look at that that is just ridiculous on roma honestly it gets uh down the road, it's something that I, I hope that maybe I can short after it completely dies. I don't know. I you probably can't even get shares to short, but just look at that. That's shorts have full control lately, and uh, I got caught in this halt up here near the highs. Um, out of the halt, it opened at 511. Gets a little bit of a dip. I get a pretty, you know, not the best feel. We'll, we'll check it out in a little bit. Um, and then immediate halt down opens up at four dollars, halting down at 460. So it ends up being a really big loss for me. Which, you know, really stings, but, you know, that's part of trading. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. For those of you that don't know what a halt is, basically, when a stock, depending on the price range, goes up or down more than 10% in the one-minute candle or within five minutes, um, I think is what it actually is, then it'll halt for a period of either 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. It just depends, right? So this was one of those volatility halts. We had it going up right out of the open, halted at 480. It opens a little higher, dips into another halt, opens up. Get a nice bottoming tail here out of this, uh, which that's on the five minute. Um, yeah, so there you can see the halt there, um, the candle where it hadn't done anything, right? This is it halted, it opens there, halts down again, opens lower, does an even bigger dip, and then a pretty nice recovery that I just, I didn't even want to touch it down there. So um, for those of you that are wondering what is behind me, it's a work in progress. So here in the next week or two, in, in Alabama, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure if you're up north, you've had super crazy winter storms. Well. Here in Alabama, we've had a pretty crazy winter storm. I mean, not crazy, but it's like two inches of ice on the road. So you literally can't go anywhere and nowhere's even open, right? So my little, uh, my car's not going to make it through this. And I've tried. So it definitely is just a little too slick. So, which it is what it is. But <clears throat> MIMO, as you can see here, flushing down. Um, the trade I got good on this one, you can all still see this. Yeah, I know it's a little bit tough to see. But this uh, high day clear out trade right here is the good trade over 32 to 35 cents. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Today's going to be a little bit of a quicker video. I just wanted to make sure that I got this out here um, because I think it's important um, to uh, to showcase this. I do think this setup was a good setup. Um, it was just something that, yeah, that's $1,500 in one trade right here in MIMO. MIMO, I'm going to show this trade and then I'll show the big loss. Um, but yeah, it just comes down to making sure that oh yeah i had live commentary on this trade which is good this was a, a great trade to have live commentary on i just wish i didn't get caught in the halt down um on roma right after it was just a little bit too much euphoria a little bit too much confidence for me um but you can see me here i do take fifty thousand shares um and i think this trade was fifty thousand shares as well um, which i know is sounds pretty crazy but on a 30 cent stock you know, still relatively not super massive, um, but I knew high day was 32 cents, um, and I knew over that level we would get we'd get a really big bounce, right? So I take my first starter there at 31, and as I see it kind of looking like it's starting to heat up, I take another 25,000 shares, looking for this over 32, and that's what happens when you have a key level like that breaks immediately flies straight through um, and I immediately sell that at 34 for two grand so that was a nice trade um, but next thing you know I'm red um, and uh, yeah here it is so this was tough right so I was up before I even got caught in this um, trade on Roma I was up I think about two thousand dollars if I remember correctly let's see I know I was stuck in Roma for almost 10 minutes here I was up 1800 okay so up 1800 and when I what I was thinking on Roma is that out of this halt, we would see the dip, which as you can see there, there's a bid there at 90, and we'd see this pop back up through five, 510, 520, so I take it off that 90 level, and there at 94, we're looking for the pop over five, get the pop over five, immediately sell it, classic trade for me, and then I'm thinking, is five gonna hold? 
and are we going to see it move over 505? And I see it tap five there for the second time, and I'm thinking it looked like it was holding. But as soon as I get in, as soon as I get in, 503 doesn't hold, $5 doesn't hold, and it's like that. And I'm trying to sell, I think right now, next thing you know, it's halted down, right? And I'm trying to get out, trying to get out. Thankfully, I do get some shares out into the halt. And really, I think what this comes down to is now the trade itself in a different market where halts are working a lot better. I think this is a, a, a fine trade, right? But look at that too. It was showing 10 cents there for a second. So I'm sure you all can, uh, you know, in your head, think about how you would feel if you saw something like that. I was not feeling very good at all, to say the least. Um, that was, I was almost going to throw up if it actually did open up at 10 cents. Um, but Thankfully, it didn't. It opened up at $4, so just a $0.60 cent drop, which compared to this is not that bad. Um, and thankfully, it only had 1,200 shares. If it would have been $0.60 cents on the 3K shares, would have been another 1800 I would have lost. And I, don't, I would have already lost 800 so it would have been like a $2,600 L, um, which would have been a lot worse than this. So, um, and yeah, and it was showing like $2 as well. I was like, where is this thing actually going to open? It was, it was ridiculous. Um, but, and they were showing $0.02 cents there for a second. But anyways... What I want to show is, you know, what can I do better next time? And what I can do better next time is if I'm going to try to hold this trade through 520, maybe what I do is instead, especially knowing that this is not basically like the theme, right? We're not seeing a bunch of halts ups. We're not seeing stocks in this price range do very well lately. Um, it's been more pennies, at least in the last couple of days. So that right there is my first kind of signal of, okay, I should have, shouldn't have taken as big a size. And two... I should have really, really waited for a great setup. And this was the good trade here off of 94. It was. That's the trade I should have held and tried to see through 510. I should have just held that and been like, okay, I'm still in. Let's see if $5 holds. Is it going to hold? Nope, it's not holding. I'm bailing out flat, right? But me being too aggressive, still taking 3,000 shares, and that's a much more extended entry than the dip below 5 you know, there's a couple, there's a couple mistakes there for sure. And that's why I want to highlight that. Like I could have definitely made this a, a, a lot thinner of a loss. Um, I should have really just not bought over five. And if I did, it should have been smaller size for sure. At least, you know, maybe just 2K instead of 3K. And then as soon as I see 503 not hold there, and it looks like five's going to crack, I just got to cut it. And I would have cut it and gotten filled, but instead this moment of hesitation cost me and uh you see there i was filling as soon as it was coming down but i was just a little too slow some people got filled um some of my buddies but i didn't so it is what it is that was a really 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 brutal loss um but it's part of trading right and what i want to do real quick is actually show a trade or two from yesterday because if you if you if those of you that do not follow me on twitter um i do recommend following me on twitter here at trading with tim underscore um, you'll basically see all of my um you know, how much I make every single day. I make sure to post it here before um, I do my video. Um, but yeah, yesterday 5,800 on PHUN. This one was super nice. I'm going to show a couple trades on that. But you can see how it looked today, right? Here's the visual of, you know, my P&L for the day. It's just bad, right? I finished down 1,100 just trying to overtrade after um, I had that big loss, right? And a big loss flustered me big time. Um, oh, yeah, people are saying TDA interest in, introduced commissions. It's funny that people don't see... Um, they don't see commissions unless they are, let me go ahead and open this real quick, unless they have Dash Trader, right? So you see in all of my videos, um, and let me just pull up Trading with Tim Archives here real quick, I'll make it easier to pull this up. Um, but basically you see my level two, right? You see this and this right here, up here, you see how many shares. And if I you double click on this right here, you'll be able to see how many FINRA fees and how many um, SEC fees you have for the day. And those are the only commissions that you have when trading. And those are, that's why I say fees, not commissions, because there are no commissions. It's just fees that you pay. And if you're on TD, it doesn't show that. You'll only see that if you go on the web browser, right? So your, your, your TD Ameritrade PL, like what I show you whenever I pulled it down, um, that, that year-to-date PL is different from the actual broker. So last year I had $10,000 in commissions. Yes, last year it showed like 343. Well, really it was 333 after fees, right? So, and it'll show that on the actual TD Ameritrade website if you're looking at your account. So. Anyways, I saw that and I just had to go ahead and show it. I've gotten that question so many times. It's like, you know, why do you have fees? I thought it was free commission. And I'm like, it is free commission. 
but there's fees and there's always our fees. You just don't see them unless you have something like Dastro here to where I can literally go in and check how much I have in fees every single day. Okay, so here's PHUN. <clears throat> and what's crazy on PHUN is I made all my money, you see 52, 52 to 59. I made all my money pretty much on this stock. So it's something that I'm, I'm kind of seeing more and more um, of that I, just, I need to make sure that when stocks are making moves like this, I really capitalize. And I did. I did capitalize really well on this. I'll show a couple trades here. I want to show one of the bigger trades where I was taking some bigger size. Here we go. Yeah, okay, here we go. So what I was doing on PHUN was chasing the highs, basically, as it was pushing higher. And this is something that I don't do with pennies as much as I used to because they haven't moved like they did this week. Um, but basically, as this thing was breaking higher, I ended up selling the previous position I had probably around 29. And then as I see 29 holding, I'm thinking 30 cents is a magnet. Just like if it was $2.95, $3 would be the magnet. So we're looking for a 30 cent magnet. It's going to come up here. I take my first starter, which is two blocks of 15K at 293. And I'm trying to see, is more green going to come on the tape? And are we going to see this thing keep pushing? And that's exactly what we're seeing. So I add to 45K. And then you can see this thing still pushing, still pushing, still pushing. And a lot of these pennies, you're going to see the volume just keep coming and keep coming in. And you got to give it time. Boom. Breaks to that key level. It pops up over three. And now I'm thinking, is three going to hold? Could have held that. Instead, I decided to cut it. And maybe I'll get in right below three. That's exactly what I do. It ends up being a really nice cut. I see that big bid there at 94. Is it going to hold? No. How low is it going to go? Looks like 90 is the spot. Let's go ahead and get in here at 94. Looking for three blocks of 15K. Looking for back over 30. And look at the reclaim. Super quick reclaim on this. And now we're looking for over 31, right? And the reason why I hold this trade longer is because it was such a quick reclaim of 30 cents. It's super bullish. It's a super bullish signal. You see all this volume coming in. And I take it there over the breakout for another $700 and that's being a super, super nice trade. So if you want to see all these videos, they are all on Tim's archives. You can see here, um, you know, pretty much every single trade from, I think like the last three months, let's see, from, yeah, from October 2nd, every single day is on here from October 2nd of 2023. So it's super cool. I do appreciate every single person that's already subscribed to Tim's archives. We're going to just keep crushing it going forward. I'll have some special videos out on Tim's archives on special stuff um, soon. So keep that in mind. Um, but I'm going to roll out now. So I appreciate you all. And I do apologize for this backdrop looking kind of weird here in the next couple of days. Unfortunately, with, like I said, it being so snowy here, <coughs> mailman's not coming. UPS driver's not coming. FedEx driver's not coming. You know, there's nobody's doing anything in the city. So we're just kind of stuck. And, uh, I can't finish what I need to back here. So it is what it is, but this gives you a little sneak peek of what it will look like. Um, hopefully it'll look a little bit cleaner. I do have another camera that's also going to be potentially making this look better and I can zoom in and out of uh, you know, my backdrop and stuff. So, but anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Please like, comment, and subscribe like always. Uh, road to 5K, let's go, peace.